The Foundation was never late for termination testing. On the 22nd of every month, at 1500 hours on the dot, the door would open to 682 cell. Alarms would blare, the site would enter standard lockdown configuration, and then the show would start. What followed was five glorious hours of 682 against the most dangerous contraption that an army of engineers could design. This was the only break from the monotony of containment that the lizard got. It wasn't much. But it was something, and it was the something that gave 682 hope that the Foundation would one day f up so bad that it would finally be able to roam the countryside, doing what it did best, slaughter. Except today, they were late. Except they were never late. The lizard glared at the door. It refused to open. Date, 9-22-2020. From Dr. Two. SCP-682 Containment Personnel SCP-682 Termination Personnel Subject Omega K Message We have finally obtained X-ray scans of SCP-682. As we predicted, those scans show that SCP-682, like other non-anomalous reptiles, does in fact have a brain. And as recent research into the Omega K scenario has shown, anything with a brain has been cursed or blessed with immortality. If the lizard wasn't unkillable before, it certainly is now. This means that continued attempts at termination of SCP-682 will be futile. If we can't even kill a rat, the lizard's entirely out of the question. Therefore, we will be suspending SCP-682 termination testing indefinitely. All personnel directly working in this venue of research will be reassigned within the coming week. Containment personnel are to take note, as this will simplify the procedures we have in place for SCP-682. We had a good run. SCP-682 Containment Log 9-22-2020 1500 Regularly scheduled termination of subject cancelled. No activity. 1516 Ripples appear in the hydrochloric acid vat. Not indicative of enough movement to necessitate action. 1527 Movement attempted by SCP-682 appears to be restless thrashing. Electrical shocks introduced to hydrochloric acid stop the movement. 1544. Movement attempted by SCP-682. More dramatic and exaggerated than previous attempt. Loads detected on acid vat walls are significantly lower than loads measured during previous SCP-682 breach attempts. This is attributed to a lack of precision in repeated strikes. Electrical shocks introduced to hydrochloric acid fail to stop movement. 1547. Shouts of anger detected by microphones within the cell. Sudden fluctuation of temperature introduced to containment environment has slowed movement. 1552. Thrashing resumes at an even more intense rate. SCP-682 speech is recorded by microphones within the cell. Previous containment techniques reapply to the containment environment. Vat walls projected to hold under current loads. 1623. Loads on vat walls increased dramatically. Strikes have become more focused on the north wall. SCP-682 shouts threats sporadically. Vat walls projected to hold. However, personnel have been notified of a possible impending containment breach. Preparation for SCP-682 recontainment protocols has been initiated. 1703. Movement from SCP-682 slows. This change does not correlate with any additional containment measures applied to the environment. 1704. SCP-682 sinks into the vat. 1705. Movement ceases. SCP-682 recontainment protocols aborted. Personnel return to their stations. They weren't coming, and they didn't plan on coming. SCP-682 lashed out every day at 1500 hours for the next week. It took it that long to accept its new life. Just the lizard and the acid. The vat was cramped, but even worse, it was boring. Special Containment Procedures SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. The lizard wished it was dead. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.